Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen the true voice of metal fall quiet, surrounded by the mass harmonies of your weak whispers. But listen closely to those whispers, and you shall find the seed of truth. Five harbingers of destruction have waited patiently for their time to rise. That day has come, and these five have changed the world forever. These voices have already slain the dragon and butchered the baron. They have ravaged the fields of justice and burned Runeterra to the ground. They have come, and their breed of metal has punished your frail bodies and smitten your plebeian souls. You will cower at the visage and tremble, for I present to you the law of Pentakill. Enjoy. <laughs> Pentakill is Valoran's most famous and probably only metal band, its name paying homage to the act of scoring five kills within quick succession on the fields of justice. Its members consist of five champions from the League of Legends. Mordekaiser was a prodigal guitarist just minutes after his birth. He spent his formative years mastering the art of metal until he was so adept at shredding that his guitars would wither and combust under his furious fretwork. Desperate to find his instrumental equal, Mordekaiser travelled far and wide in search of a legendary guitar known only as Numero Uno. Made of metal and made for metal, Numero Uno was known as the Indestructible Axe a tool Mordekaiser hoped would withstand his beastly playing. After years of searching, he would finally come to find it, buried deep within a Sherman crypt. But as Mordekaiser grasped the instrument's neck for the first time, it too grasped him, filling him with murderous intent and driving his head-banging instincts harder and heavier than they had ever been before. He emerged from the crypt a changed man, and as he returned to the civilization he knew, his antics took a turn for the violent. At one fateful brand practice, the power of Numero Uno became too much, turning Mordekaiser berserk and leading him to murder his bandmates, including their up-and-coming singer, Carthus. Pentakill's Carthus was not born, but rather reborn. A promising metal vocalist in life, the demons of the Shadow Isle saw purpose within the singer, and after his murder at the hands of Mordekaiser, imbued Carthus with undeath before sleeping his voice in the fury of countless lost souls. Carthus resumed singing, earning himself a fearsome reputation after eating a live poro and gargling gravel during his Shadowstock debut. He went about establishing himself as the Shadow Isle's finest vocalist, but soon grew tired with the lack of local instrumental talent. Remembering Mordekaiser's unmatched guitar skills, he sought passage back to Valoran and enlisted the help of the only musician Carthus felt to be his equal, the bass-playing ferryman Yorick. Pentakill's Yorick spent his early years on the Shadow Isles torturing ghouls and ghosts with his pounding bass-playing. But as the years passed by, the ghouls began to enjoy the head-rattling for Tuso's playing. Eventually, they formed Yorick's hardcore fanbase and followed him throughout the Shadow Isles, earning him the nickname Brown Note thanks to their muddy coloration. After ferrying Carthus back to Valoran, Yorick decided to join him and create a fucking awesome band and unleash their terrifying symphony on the unsuspecting living masses. After arriving back in Valoran and reuniting with Mordekaiser, the three headbangers scoured the lands, butchering all within ear's reach with their demonic tunes. They met their match, however, in Sona. Through years of silence, she had attuned her hearing to withstand all manner of metal. Impressed with both her resilience and her ability to tear up her keys while covered in blood, the three offered Sona a place in the band. Thus, Pentakill Sona was born. With her in the band, the group's destruction amped up significantly and soon, only the frozen Northlands harboured humanity's last stand. The monolithic colossus of metal that was Pentakill was nearing completion. Continuing their massacre, the demonic quartet finally reached the frozen wastes of Freljord. Tribe after tribe fell before their sound. The Howling Abyss howled for mercy and villages were set ablaze until the whole world was ready to burn. 
feeling the need for a celebratory drink, the four entered Runeterra's last standing bar and found it empty, save for one man. Olaf was not in a sober state and challenged the biggest of you fuckers to an arm wrestle. Yorick stepped up and the duel began. Legends say that the two were locked in an arm-on-arm -arm combat for days, sustaining themselves with whiskey and peanuts. Finally, Carthus, who had become bored of the deadlock, offered Olaf a place in the band. I'm only good at hitting shit, Olaf said, to which Carthus replied, Perfect. You shall be our drummer. Pentakill was now complete, and it has come for you. Because you have sown, and soon you shall reap. And that's all I've got for you this time around. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below the video. Don't forget you can check out the previous episodes by hitting the annotation at the top of the video or in the description that will take you to the playlist. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, I'll see you next time.